I'm Dr Kate Cook, I'm a lecturer in law at Manchester Metropolitan University and I'm also the head of the Sylvia Pankhurst Gender Research Centre. We're here in Special Collections at Manchester Metropolitan University and uh, Special Collections has a small selection of copies of The Suffragette and that was a newspaper produced by the Women's Social and Political Union from about 1912 to 1914. This was to keep supporters informed about what was going on. It's very political. Um, it was edited by Christabel Pankhurst, who's one of Emmeline's daughters and one of the leaders of the Women's Social and Political Union. You have to imagine a world in which the only mass means of communication is newspapers, hence the importance of the suffragette. There's nothing else, there's no radio, there's no television, there's no internet, obviously. Um, and everything is controlled by men, so the journalists are men, the politicians are men, and the women have no voice, literally have no voice, not only no vote, but no right to even be heard. So in 1905, uh, Christabel Pankhurst and Annie Kenny went to a political meeting of the Liberal Party at the Free Trade Hall in Manchester and um, shouted out asking, what about votes for women? And were eventually ejected from the meeting. And at that point, Christabel spat at a police officer in order to get arrested. And that was the beginning of militant action. That's how it all started. I've always felt that Manchester is a very vibrant city and a very lively city, but it's also a city that cares hugely about, about innovation and about people, and somehow manages to bring those things together. So Manchester as the birthplace of the NHS, or Manchester as the place that began the work that got women the vote, is a good way, I think, of thinking about bringing together progress, but also caring about people. Um, one of the headlines on this newspaper talks about votes for working women. And of course, we're not yet celebrating the centenary of votes for working women. We have to wait another 10 years for that. But that's Manchester to me. We want everybody to have progress.